All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praises, our glory, and our honors unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule and teach well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. This is Peace of Zion one from GMS Atlanta. Back with another um, update on the Mark of the Beast technology. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of the different infrastructure for what is the Mark of the Beast, um, which is the the, the Mark of Implant, is being set up. Um, the digital, this new digital world, this new system, which is really the image of the beast in Revelation the thirteenth chapter, that is being set up um, at a rapid rate around the world. Okay, this is why you have something um, called ID twenty twenty set up by Bill Gates and others to basically revolutionize the world uh, along with using the crisis of uh, the C-19 to, um, to, to push, push everybody into Esau's wicked world order, okay? It's wicked one world order that he wants to create. So because of what's been going on, um, there's been a number of different biometric technologies that has been set up um, around the world. Uh, so I want to start with this article here from uh, biometricupdate.com. It says, temperature monitoring systems with the contactless biometrics continue to roll out worldwide. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm going to read here. It says, access control technologies often with biometric facial recognition capabilities continue to be upgraded with body temperature scanning sensors to meet the guidelines from official bodies like state governments and the center for disease control to identify and deny entry to people with fevers okay and and this is what they're doing in a lot of locations here in the u.s uh and around the world um brothers have experienced it i've experienced it certain restaurants and places that you know you know that we've all been used to going you know normally walking in eating and walking out a lot of them are are using these uh temperature based biometric devices and um um it's 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 going to start to be more of a common thing now <laughs> what i've noticed is nobody in my personal experience i haven't seen anyone or heard of anyone from any article or any even any other uh news report of someone actually having a fever after having their temperature tested. You know, I I did notice that. Um, but nonetheless, this is the way that the world is going now because of what's happening. So I'm going to continue reading here. It says, uh, new hardware or software products have been launched by Janum, Temperature Check, Samola Systems, and Patriot One. Meanwhile, VPR Brands has struck a distribution deal and a green package subsidiary, eConnect, Global Security Devices, and Peerview Services have announced deployments. So different companies are, 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 are pushing this out. It says, a new biometric facial recognition access management kiosk with thermal imaging to detect COVID-19 symptoms has been launched by Janum Technologies. The company says the G2 GT2 is easy to deploy and reads temperature within 0.9 degrees Fahrenheit in less than a second from up to 20 inches away. If a fever is detected, the kiosk provides a voice alert and sounds a siren. The kiosk includes an optional mask detection mode and can deny access to individuals not complying with mask guidance. And you notice that in different cities around America, uh, uh, they're making masks mandatory in the cities. Okay? Even when you go back uh, uh, and look at the movie I Am Legend, they were using the temperature because once the uh, the Crippen virus, which was uh, the virus that they uh, had put into the movie of uh, I Am Legend with Will Smith, you know, once that started to take hold on uh, the population, they were using the temperature checkers, and it would detect if you had a fever or or or, or any, anything was irregular in your system and what happened was Will Smith's wife and and, and 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 his children got separated from him you know and they're using this in reality because they put these things in movies and then they come to pass okay 
because this, this is how the the left hand side of Esau prophesies through through um, through uh, television and movies, you know. But going back uh, here, it says the kiosk generates access logs for integration into human resources systems, and users can also interact with the Android power kiosk through a seven inch touch screen uh, display. It says. Uh, the company will market the new kiosk to sports and live entertainment venues, airports, hospitals, retail establishments, restaurants, office buildings, hotels, schools, and other organizations. So before they really start to open up, because basically uh, uh, the next step, the next step for Esau, what he really wants to do is when he does reopen the world, he wants his new, new, he wants the new world order established. He wants things put in place. And to develop it quick and fast over time. Kids go back to school or where there's new guidelines. That's why you're seeing in your local cities a lot of construction is going on because this is what they're doing. Okay? Oh, your kids want to go back to school, they got to wear a mask. They might have to have a, a, a the temperature check every morning. That's what they're doing. They're setting these things up and these different companies are being uh, uh, um, being set up to develop these things. <clears throat> all right, all right. So, um, as I was saying, so basically, you know, they're going to put all of these different um, technologies in these different uh, these different um, venues. You know, everything is, if, you know, schools, buildings, a whole new system is being uh, is being set up now. I want to go here. Now, this is from 3wnews.org. And it says uh, IoT. IoT is Internet of Things. Internet, Internet of Things middleware market to witness massive growth. Uh, Cisco Systems Inc., Red Hat Inc., Oracle PTC, Bosch Software Innovations, GMBH, Clearblade Inc., Daver Networks, and Amazon Web Services from a... Uh, July 5th, 2020. So all these companies are basically going to uh, start growing more into the Internet of Things market, which is why we're going to see a lot more of these companies utilize this technology. OK, it says a recent report published by QMI on IOT middleware market is a detailed assessment of the most important market dynamics after carrying out thorough research of Internet of Things, middleware market, historical, as well as current growth parameters, business expectations for growth are obtained with utmost precision. The study identifies specific and important factors affecting the market for IoT middleware during the forecast period. It can enable companies investing in IoT, Internet of Things, middleware market to change their production and marketing strategies in order to invest in, uh, envisage maximum growth. And these are all the companies here. Okay? So I'm just going to read this port, this last part. According to the report, the IoT middleware market has been segmented by flat by platform type, device application, and connectivity management by organization size, large enterprises and SMEs or SMES by vertical, manufacturing, government and defense, automotive and transportation. Uh Energy and utilities, healthcare, retail, BFSI, other. All right. So uh, it says manifests as insights about regional distribution of market. The market has been segmented in, in major regions to understand the global development and demand patterns of this market. So we're going to see a lot more things connected to the Internet. And one major company I'll, I'll mention is uh, Amazon. OK. Um, right. Uh, this here is from uh, Mises.org, which says the dangers posed by state controlled digital currency. Uh, it says it doesn't require too dark an imagination to realize the gravity of the concerns over the digital yuan. 
China is a true pioneer when it comes to surveillance, censorship, and political oppression, and the digital age has given the state an incredibly efficient and effective arsenal. Adding money to that toolkit was a move that was planned for many years, and it is abundantly clear how useful a tool it can be for any totalitarian regime. The ability to track citizens' transactions, access their financial data, control and freeze the account of anyone that presents a potential threat. That's what this guy... Uh, Nick Rockefeller was telling Aaron Russo in the interview after uh, he after uh, Aaron Russo had the interview with Alex Jones. That's what he told him. They'll just freeze your chip if you don't want to comply. Because the mark of the beast is the microchip implant, man. Okay? It says it all opens the door to the ultimate oppression. Total control over private resources, over people's livelihoods, and their capacity to cover their basic needs. And they're using a lot of these things through... Uh, uh, um, in China right now, okay? Which leads me to this last quick article from Coindesk. China's Uber Didi to trial PBOC's central bank digital currency. So there you go, okay? The image of the beast being set up. So with that, I hope it was edified. I'm going to say Shalom.